Use the indirect or inductive method when it's not possible to use the direct connect or the inductive coupling method. First remove any connectors or clamps from the output jack of the transmitter. Place the transmitter across the buried conductor as indicated by the image. Make sure that it is not resting on or near a metal surface or a large metal object. Turn the transmitter on. The battery and power output display will show a blinking LED simultaneously. The transmitter is now broadcasting a signal in a figure 8 pattern from its internal antenna through both the ground and the air. The signal is being electromagnetically induced onto all conductors within the figure 8 range. When you are locating in the inductive mode, remember that it is very easy to interpret signals induced onto other conductors, especially overhead power lines, as coming from your target conductor. After having set up the transmitter in the locating mode best suited for your job, you are ready to trace the line with the Metrotech 810DX receiver. To turn the receiver on, push the on-off depth button once. This turns the receiver on and it is also the control to take a depth measurement. The up and down arrow control the speaker volume. Since the Metrotech 810DX receiver has a built-in automatic gain, there is no gain control needed. The battery symbol on the LCD continually indicates the battery status. If the battery needs to be replaced, the battery symbol will not have any bars. The frequency used by the 810DX utility line locator will appear on the LCD display. The Metrotech 810DX receiver provides you with several features to help you locate. Distance sensitive left right guidance, digital signal strength readout, continuous automatic gain, and push button depth measured in feet and inches. During your locate, you can continually check the information provided by any of these features to confirm your progress. You are now ready to locate the target conductor with the Metrotech 810DX receiver. Hold the receiver in front of you at a comfortable angle and make an area sweep 8 to 10 feet around the connection point. As you make this sweep, stop at each center line. Note the signal strength. To do this, make sure the signal strength is below 999 and push the depth button. If you are using the inductive method, make sure the receiver is not air coupled to the transmitter. This can occur from 8 to 50 feet from the transmitter. To determine if you are air coupled, find a center line and lift the receiver straight up. If the signal strength decreases smoothly, you are not air coupled. If it stays the same or increases, you are air coupled. Move further away from or switch to a lower power setting on the transmitter until you achieve the desired result. Begin tracing your line, moving the receiver evenly from side to side across the target path. Unlike other locators, the Metrotech 810DX will continually monitor and automatically adjust the gain level, leaving you free to concentrate on your locate. As you move, the left-right display and the audio tone will guide you. Think of the bar as representing your target's location. When the bar is on the left on the broken arrow and the audio tone is also broken, move left towards the target. When the bar is on the right on the solid arrow and the audio tone is solid, move right to find the target. You will see the bar respond to both direction and distance. When you are directly above the target, the bar will be centered between the two arrows and there will be no tone. You can check the target's depth at any time. Hold the receiver straight up over the conductor with the tip to the ground. Push the depth button to display the depth, which is computed in feet and inches. After three seconds, the LCD will revert to the left-right signal strength mode. If the signal is too weak or distorted, an error code will appear. To prevent misleading depth measurements, the left-right display must be near the center to calculate a depth. If it is too far outside, the receiver will display CL when you push the depth button. 
indicating that the receiver is not centered over the conductor. As you continue your locate, you can use signal strength, depth, left-right guidance, and the audible tone to keep you on target. A good locate is generally characterized by a smooth left-right guidance, a gradual decrease in signal strength, and consistent depths. Because of underground congestion and common construction practices, you will routinely encounter situations that will disrupt your locate. Changes in conductor direction, T's and laterals, and changes in depth. The Metrotech 810DX is designed to help you get back online quickly and easily. If you notice sudden drop in signal strength and have a loss of left-right guidance, your conductor may have changed direction. Sweep the area to find the center line and shoot a depth to verify if you are still on your conductor. If field strength decreases suddenly, you may have passed a T or lateral in your conductor. Make a 360 degree sweep of the area for additional center lines to confirm the conductor split. Mark the lateral and continue on the main line. If the field strength changes, but the left-right guidance remains the same, your conductor may have changed depth, or you may be on another conductor. Continue your locate and check for laterals or reference points to confirm you are still on the same conductor. These are just a few examples of common locating problems. The 810DX operation manual provides additional tips on advanced locating techniques. As you locate, always be alert to surrounding conditions which could interfere with the accuracy of your locate. Periodically sweep to each side of your conductor to check for the presence of other conductors. Adjacent conductors above and below ground can pull the signal away from your target and mislead you about the depth and position of your conductor. Continue sweeping the target line marking the ground with the appropriate colored flag or paint every 10 or 15 feet until you have traced the conductor through the job site. The A10DX receiver has an automatic power down feature which shuts off the receiver after 10 minutes of no button activity. Push the depth button to stop the shutdown. The Metrotech 810DX offers the following optional accessories. A 2 inch, 4 inch and 8 inch metro clamp, sons for tracing non-metallic lines, rechargeable batteries and a vehicle mount charger. When you're finished using the locator, turn off the power, secure the transmitter, receiver, and accessories, and store the locator in its protective case. Remember to handle the locator with care. Always think safety first by being alert to potential hazards in the field. As you have seen, the Metrotech 810DX Utility Line Locator is an easy to use powerful instrument with a variety of capabilities to meet the varying needs of today's professional locator. Mastering the art of pipe locating requires skill, experience, and knowledge. By using the Metrotech 810DX locator and following the step-by-step -step procedures, you will be able to perform your job faster, safer, and more effectively.